Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about installing virtual environment in Mac operating system. So we have prepared for you a YML um, file that is called SDS 2020 and um, it will be available to be downloaded via this link over here and this file contains packages or libraries that we'll need in order to run our python codes so just simply click download and it will automatically download the yml file there you go it usually ends up in our download folder so let's see if that's the case Yes, I can see it in my download folder, so I'm good. So the first thing to do is we would like to open terminal. And there you go. Um, so we're in um, we'll change the location. So CD, change directory. And say downloads. Yeah. There you go. We're in the download folder and we would like to say conda dash environment create dash f sds dot uh, sds 2020 dot yml and we can see now here um it's processing and it's going to create this environment for us Okay, so now we have um, the SDS 2020 environment and it took me around 8 minutes for this process to be done and we can just activate this environment say by using Honda activate SDS 2020 there you go and then we can just launch Jupyter Notebook by saying Jupyter And this will bring us to a uh, Jupyter Notebook over here. Okay, but there's also another way to activate um, our environment. So we can go to our Anaconda Navigator if we prefer the um, GUI. So Anaconda Navigator is the graphical user interface for Conda. Let's see here. It has all the applications supported by Conda. So everything here, if it says launch, then it's already installed. But if it say install, then you, you have to install it first before using it. For example, the R Studio and the Glufus. So what we're going to use is this Jupyter Notebook. So if you want to activate SDS environment from the Anaconda Navigator, you simply just go here and say I want to use SDS 2020 wait for this to finish SDS 2020 and launch it via Jupyter Notebook alternatively you can also go to environment and here you have SDS 2020 and then you can open with Jupyter Notebook and this will bring oh, there you go and then we can open um, for example here python data type file okay so we have installed the sds environment we also have um, activated the environment and launched the jupyter notebook from the terminal as well as from anaconda navigator and afterwards it's just a matter of working and in the Jupyter Notebook using that environment. Thank you.